In this edition of City News, learn how the city of Hawthorne celebrated a federal holiday. Also find out why banners were hung throughout the city. Plus, see how a program is helping some of the most vulnerable. These stories and much more coming up on City News. Hello and welcome to City News. I'm Jennifer Murillo. The city of Hawthorne hosted a Juneteenth celebration at Hawthorne Memorial Park. We take you to the grand event for the full story. Live music, performances, and dignitaries came together to celebrate Juneteenth. They celebrate the day that the slavers in Texas find out that they were liberated in um, 1865, but it was two years after the Lincoln signed the proclamation. And I commend the city for recognizing this historical event, uh, a day of real liberation and emancipation for many of the people who built this country. So uh, Juneteenth is historic. It's a very educational thing for everybody because some people don't know the exact meaning of Juneteenth. So it's a good opportunity for everybody to learn about Juneteenth and what it signifies and what its uh, importance is to our African-American community. The celebration was free for everyone to come out and enjoy a family day at the park. We're loving it. It's wonderful music, wonderful community. Um, I met a lot of great people out here today, so we are enjoying ourselves. It's a nice time to come and spend it with the family. You know, there's some food, drinks, music, you know, a lot of uh, nice people. You know, it's great for us to come together and kind of get to know each other. It's great for us to really celebrate, like I said, progress that's been made you know, over the course of the years in America. And it's, you know, it's great just to see each other. The city also collaborated with many local vendors that helped make this event even better. We partner with a lot of agencies and neighborhood community uh, partners in the city to make it a little bit larger than last year. A fusion is a mixture of so many different techniques and levels and just trying to bring happiness into the community. That's what we were doing out here today. It's been a beautiful day. The music, the company, everybody, and everybody's talking. The music has been amazing. Although this event has been hosted in the past, it's been the biggest one yet. We have lots of people out here. We have great bands. Uh, we have two or three different types of food trucks, and it looks like everyone's having a great time. The city hopes to continue this annual event for many years and bring the entire community together to celebrate. To learn about other city events, visit the city's website at www.cityofhawthorne.org and look under Latest News. After lots of planning, collaborations, and several designs, the city of Hawthorne has an official new city logo. It was a collaboration of uh, multi-departments. We put a, com a committee together about a year ago, and we started talking about visions of the city and what actually represented the city. The new logo represents the city's past, while also being a representation of the city now and where it's headed. It represents our aerospace uh, place in this region. Uh, it talks about the minis that we have in our, our city, our airport, our community services, our public works, and our streets. The new city logo is slowly rolling out. You can already see it on some street signs and soon it will be visible throughout the community. The City of Hawthorne Veterans Affairs Commission held a banner recognition ceremony. Here's Jason Reynoso with all the details. City of Hawthorne's Veterans Affairs Commission held its inaugural military banner recognition ceremony to recognize Hawthorne's military men and women who honorably served or currently serve in the U.S. military. We're honoring our veterans and bringing to some patriotism here in the city of Hawthorne. We've always been a patriotic city, but I think this takes us to another level to give respect and honor to those who have served. We're doing an unveiling of banners to recognize those members before uh, those that have served that are no longer with us. However, uh, it's a continuous effort just to acknowledge our veteran men and women of all branches of military. The 2024 Military Banner Recognition Program accepted applications earlier this year. These 16 banners have been hung throughout the city and were sponsored by loved ones or friends who wanted to recognize them. 
I'm just so happy that the city, really speared by the Veterans Commission, but the city supported this initiative to honor the men and women that served in the military that are either were residents of Hawthorne or connected to some residents of Hawthorne. Many in attendance say they are beyond pleased with this new program and acknowledging all those who served the country. It's one little token, you know, that uh, that is good for these people. Maybe some of them will not even know because they're dead. And it's good for their families. Recognition that military is something really, really good for the country. The banners are amazing. I, I love it. I love the pride, you know, driving down the street and being able to see many people that my brothers and sisters that have served along my side. The significance of this program is for Hawthorne to take pride in their residents who took part or are taking part in maintaining our country's integrity. Getting back to our roots and understanding sacrifice and integrity and honor um, and character and going deeper than just surface level, I think we're, it brings the community together. It gives them pride in what they do. It's great to see people who have been here in our community who have done a lot of work and a lot of service. It's good to see them recognized so now that everyone can know that, hey, our community is also have people who have stood up and stand out for what our great causes in our country. The banners will be displayed until Veterans Day mid-November of this year. The Veterans Affairs Commission hope they can continue this program and get more applications for 2025. For HCTV, I'm Jason Reynoso. For more information on the Military Banner Recognition Program, visit the city website at www.cityofhawthorne.org and search Veterans Affairs. Coming up next on City News, We'll show you how dancing has brought many out to the sports center. Plus, find out where kids can have fun and grab a bite to eat. There's more news ahead. We'll be right back. Welcome back. A new workout class is catching popularity with many residents. Stephanie Canova brings us a story. Summer classes are here and the city of Hawthorne is now offering new Zumba classes at the Betty Ainsworth Sports Center. The, the Zumba is to be healthy, happy, and um, just uh, take out all the stress from the day. It's not just to be healthy, it's just to be happy. I think uh, the fact that Hawthorne is offering something like this to help us stay fit and have fun at the same time is awesome. I was raised, grow, grew up here in Hawthorne, so this is something that I'm very excited about and I'm trying to get my mom to come and join me as well. Zumba is a dance-based fitness technique that combines elements of Latin music with cardio exercise moves to create a heart-pumping, one-hour workout. I would like to recommend people to Zumba classes because it's good for your health, it's good for your whole body, your mind, so you feel so much better after a Zumba class, so I would really recommend. The, the dancing, the rhythm, how she interacts with the people, so I, I just highly recommend it. I typically listen to R&B music, so that's, you know, the heart of me, but this Zumba music, it, it resonates with your soul and it has you moving even when you don't think you can. So it's, it's the best and I rec again, I highly recommend everybody to come out and join. And if someone like me who cannot dance can get out here and do their thing, I recommend anybody else can do it as well. Class sessions are three weeks long and you can sign up online or pay at the door. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Stephanie Canova. For more information about the Zumba classes or to enroll, visit the city website at www.cityofhawthorne.org and under Community Services, click on Register for Activities. The City of Hawthorne is returning with Movies in the Park and for the first time ever, it's bringing music as well. Join us for an evening of great music, movies, food trucks and more. The Concerts and Movies in the Park series will kick off on July 12th starting at 6 p.m. at Hawthorne Memorial Park, followed with a movie screening at 8 p.m. Don't forget to bring your lawn chair or blanket for a fun Friday night. 
The Hawthorne Community Services Department is keeping children busy all summer long. J.C. Reynoso brings us the story. The Hawthorne Park Program provides all sorts of activities for kids to participate in, from board games to just having fun in the waiting pool in six different parks. The kids get uh, to stay active during these times that they're not in school, so they get to participate in games, sporting activities, get to swim, stay out of the sun, and above all, just making new friends and um, having fun. At the Hawthorne Memorial Park, being one of those parks, kids were out making the most out of the hot summer day by taking a dip in the waiting pool and eating a free lunch that is provided by the program to all kids. It was refreshing and we love to swim as well. I feel relaxing with my sister and swimming around. The purpose of this program isn't just for the kids to have fun, but to keep them out and about even when there's no school. It's very beneficial right now due to the summer, the vacation that's going on right now to keep the kids busy, you know, and have the families out here too, you know, so it's a great program, I want to say, you know, that like they're providing, the city's providing for the families. I think instead of just like, you know, being stuck inside the house, like coming out here with making more relationships with other kids. It's very benef beneficial for them. The Hawthorne Park program is open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. all the way until August 17th and is open to anyone who comes free of charge. For HCTV, I'm Jason Reynoso. For more information on the park programs and other park activities for the summer, visit the city website and search for the summer class brochure. The Hawthorne Police Department and the Homeless Services Department are working together through a grant program called the Homeless Outreach Services Team, also known as HOST, that is funded by LA County. We went on a ride along to shoot this special segment to show you how they help the homeless in Hawthorne. How you doing? I'm Sergeant Raul Espinoza with the Hawthorne Police Department. We're doing a homeless outreach today. So we're trying to contact uh, certain people that are living on the street and offering them services. And if they take them, it's a first step into um, getting them back on their feet, getting them the services that they need, whether it be medical services, addiction services, mental health services, and, and housing. Um, so we have a team, an outreach team that goes out, contacts uh, uh, these unhoused individuals, and, and provide them the information that they need to take those steps to getting off the street and into into a shelter, a home, or a, a hotel. So let's see if we can contact some people and, and get them some help. Good morning, man. How are you? How's it going? Uh, we're out here offering s some services. Are you interested in housing? Um, getting your driver's license, a copy of your birth certificate or anything like that. Right here at the park, you know what I'm talking about? Just depends on the day for them, you know? Um, I'm sure it's a hard, hard thing for them to uh, get re rehabilitation help and um, get back on their feet, accept services. A lot of them have mental health issues or addiction issues and it's hard to take that first step to get better so the more you're out here the more you're in the community kind of interacting with them they, they gain like more trust they get to know you and then one day they're like yeah i'll take the help and then hopefully they they use that to get back on their feet because they're able to provide a lot of services um in one place which is kind of nice so this, this is one of the areas that we were probably gonna clean up. It just seems like it's trash. Um, they kind of left it behind. Um, so we'll we'll try to see if we can clean it up because there's kids that walk through here bye, bye. for school. There's a, a school right down the street on Broadway and there's a, an elementary school right here or a middle school, I should say. So it's kind of important for us to be aware of the trash and the needles and stuff that gets left behind. Go we'll visit some clients, go we'll follow up. We want them to come to the park every Monday to receive services. 
one of the clients talk, um, has not come, so I'm going to do a check in with her, see how she's doing. The next side? We're kind of closer to the back end, though. That's. Um, So here's what makes it kind of dangerous. It's really close to a home. If this starts up, if there's more brush, it causes a safety issue. Shut up, man. So the female that we had that was pregnant with the child, we had to take different steps to assist her. We had to take her, we had to call the Family Solutions Center, we called Downtown Women's Center, we were calling multiple family shelters and there was no beds available. So we had to go through the Catholic Charities to get a motel voucher for her. And we're assisting her to get her benefits in California because she's from Arizona, which is something that we're encountering a lot, a lot of people from out of state that don't have no most, benefits yeah, here. Yeah, most of so we're still working on trying to get her placed. So the, one of the, the main reasons right we now. also carry this is because everyone's using fentanyl now and everything's yeah, laced with fentanyl. So this is very effective in reverse, reversing those effects. 14, where did you say? Hey, there. <laughs> All right, so the fire department's gonna come. They're gonna, gonna take huh? the emergency room. I don't want you to lose your feet, you know? You better worry. Where's the That meth is no joke, huh? Kind of ruins your life. So in, in this case, uh, we have... Uh, a homeless person who's who's in really need of some medical attention. Uh, his feet are kind of like rotting, and he really needs to go. So, so part of the outreach is identifying a situation where uh, this person may not have sought out help, but because we contacted them, they felt comfortable enough to ask for help. So now the fire department's able to transport him to a hospital, and. Uh, Hopefully, they're, they're able to fix his problem and they'll save his, uh, his fee. Keep it right here on Channel 22 for these future city news stories. We'll take you to a summer camp at the Hawthorne School District. Plus, we headed to the first concerts in the park in Hawthorne. Well, that does it for this edition of City News. Thanks for watching. If you have any story ideas, please call us at 310-349-1630 or email us at hctv at hawthornca.gov. Don't forget you can watch City News online on YouTube by searching Hawthorne Community Television. We'll leave you now with more footage from the Juneteenth celebration. See you next time.